Hello again, and welcome to the reflection section. Okay, so here's some bubbles for you. Oh, there's no reason. I just quite like bubbles. Um, so today in our story, um, we've seen that, that Jesus was amazing um, and is able to bring calm to um, a really frightening storm um, a situation, uh, which gives peace to his friends who are scared of the storm. The thing is about that story, and I don't know if you noticed it or you want to go back and watch again. Don't keep watching it though, because that's that's cheating. Um, just watch it the one time. Um, Jesus is not just at peace at the end of the storm. There is not only peace at the end of the storm. Jesus himself is also at peace during the storm because he is sleeping on that boat. He's just chilling out. He's not bothered. He's not panicking. He's not stressing about the waves coming over the side of the boat. Jesus is snoring. Um, now, the thing is that just as Jesus gives peace to his friends in this story, um, he can also give peace to us today. And sometimes Jesus might do that by taking away things that make us feel frightened and afraid. But sometimes he might also do that by being with us whilst those things that make us feel frightened and afraid are going on. Um, so there's two ways, really, that we can end up with peace, the peace that God talks about. Um, and to help us think about the final part of our prayer, uh, here is what we're going to do. You need to go get for me a bowl full of water. Don't fill it all the way to here because floods. Um, just a normal amount. And you need to get me some square paper. It's not square. Cut it square. And you need to get a pen. Any colour will do. Any brand will do. Crayola. Here's a good bit. You know, just make it like kind of washable, not that Sharpie business. We're not for that. Okay. And now what you need to do, take your paper and write down any things that make you feel worried. Could be things that make you feel worried right now um, or things that make you feel worried just when they happen. So they're not happening at the minute or things that make us feel afraid. Okay. So things that make us frightened, things that make us worry, things that make us scared. Write them down on this bit of paper. Okay. So I'm going to write mine down. Oh, if you don't write, draw a picture. And when you've um, when you've written these things down, what I want you to do is mind look. Where's them? Uh, take a piece of paper. It's got your writing or it's got your picture on, however you've done it, and take your corners like this, and fold each of the corners into the middle of the paper. So here's one. Doesn't have to be exactly the middle. I'm not a precise person. Two. So it looks like this, okay? And then grab your bowl. Don't grab, because you might go. Move gently your bowl to where you can reach it. Put your paper on top of the bowl, like such, on top of the water, sorry, like such. And now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna watch. And as we watch what we've done, the paper is gonna unfold uh, and the ink is gonna start to disappear into the water. And while you're watching, um, if you want, you can Pray and you can ask God to, to help you to feel peace in the, in the situations um, and things that you've written on the piece of paper. Um, if that's if you want to do that, you can do that. But whilst you're watching, I'm going to pray for all of us. Uh, Father God, I thank you that you can see everything that is happening in the world at the moment and that you care about it. Um, and I just pray that you will come and be with us now and that you will give us your peace so that if there are things happening in our lives that at the moment that make us feel anxious or afraid or frightened that we can know that you are with us in those situations 
and that you can help us to feel at peace. Um, amen. And now you can join in with this part. You can all pray this with me. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God turn his face towards you and may God give you peace. Amen. So friends, worship is coming up. Um, and if you want to spend some more time thinking about um, today's topic of, of how God can give us peace, then on session page two of the session plan, there are some deeper activities. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next week for more Breakfast Club fun. Bye-bye.